Hello everyone, Jolty here, and today we're going to be talking about how to install the additions to Fire Red, known as Complete Fire Red Upgrade and Dynamic Pokemon Expansion. If you ever wondered how new ROM hacks these days have Pokemon up to Generation 8 and have modernized mechanics, these are the patches to put on your ROM hack. So today we are going to be talking about the basics of how to do that. So first things first, you're going to want to have both the Dynamic Pokemon Expansion and the Complete Fire Red Upgrade. Both are in the description of this video. It does note that there are instructions to both of these, but they also have some outdated instructions and it could also be done a bit easier. Um, but DevKit Pro um, is required for this. You'll need to install DevKit Pro, which is in here. I'll be putting these in the description. Excuse me. <laughs> Get DevKit Pro um, and specifically install the ARM extension for assembly usage. Okay, so we got DevKit Pro. Give it an open uh, and go through the installation project. Uh, this wouldn't go through too much because of um, the fact that I already have it. That's the only reason why it's asking me this. Um, and you only really need GBA development. You don't need any of this other stuff clicked. And I wouldn't recommend putting it in anywhere um, other than its default directory because of the way it communicates with the file, um, with the dynamic Pokemon expansion and complete Fire Red. Um, it gets confused, and I'll explain that a bit more in a minute, if you don't put it in its default directory. So you'd hit next, and this installs it. Um, I already have it, so I'm going to leave it here, but this is where you'd be. Also, I showed this in the beginning of the video. I highly recommend using Hexmaniac Advance as it um, can help easily access the map so you can access um, and add different NPCs, different dialogue. Um, you can have different things. This is more of a, uh, this is my trash ROM, so I don't actually have anything changed, but you could go through this and um, edit it a whole lot. So for the time being, um, I just wanted to recommend this program as well. Although it's not required for this, this would be just better to see the things you're adding. Okay, we made a little setup here. Now, if you have Complete Fire Red Upgrade and Dynamic Pokemon Expansion, we can get started. Um, you will also require a legally obtained version of Pokemon Fire Red, a ROM, GBA file, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, these are typically 16 megabytes, and you want one that is. Um, we don't want one expanded, at least not yet. Now that you have both of these, you're going to go into Complete Fire Red Upgrade Master. Um, and you're not going to install it on the ROM just yet, but we are going to go into SRC and Config. You'll also need a way to um, edit a bunch of different um, coding software, so I recommend using Visual Studio or Microsoft Code. Um, any anything that can view and edit code should work. Once you have this open, you're going to go ahead and go down to the let's see where is it? Evos per mon. Um, this um, is already changed. This is correct, but it is five by default. Um, if you have it on just five, um, your evolutions won't work correctly when you get everything installed. You want to change this from five to sixteen, which it says in the comment right here. Um, and as on top of that, if you are using dynamic expansion with complete fire red upgrade, which most likely you are, um, expand move sets line 230, uh, you're going to want to comment this out. This expands move sets um, as it would up to gen eight. But since dynamic Pokemon expansion already does that, we don't need it here. Um, you're also welcome to, um, just read through these and disable and enable anything that you'd like. Um, you can get rid of the Dynamax and Meta Mega Evolution features if you wanted to. You can get rid of Oak's tutorial if you so desire, um, things like that. But once you are done in the config file, you're welcome to close it out. While you're in Complete Fire Red Upgrade, uh, you're going to go into Scripts and then Make. Um, and while you're in Make, um, Offset to Put is different by default. I personally change it to be a bit further out. Um, if you don't understand how offsets work quite yet, that's all right. Um, if it doesn't work for you, if the installation doesn't, uh, try changing the offset because that's what I did here. And the same will go for dynamic Pokemon expansion. If you go to scripts, go to make, it has its own offset to put, which you want to be about 20,000 away. Once you have all that done, we're not going to worry too much about complete fire red upgrade just yet. We're going to go into dynamic um, and we are going to copy paste the Pokemon fire red. Once you have all your config ready and you're going to rename this to 
BPRE0. Um, you may have seen in the config file, that is the ROM name it is searching for, not the ROM to put the BPPRIO. And you could also change it to another thing if you'd like, if you want to like name it your, your ROM hack or whatever, um, you can change that in the settings. So once you have this BPRE0 in, you're going to go ahead and instead of just right clicking, you're going to shift, hold shift and then right click, and this will open a PowerShell window as an option. Um, and because of the dev kit thing we explained earlier, we can do Python scripts forward slash, and then we can go with any of these ones in scripts. Um, I'm going to go with clean because it kind of cleans out the directory, and then make.py is the important one. This is what puts everything together. Um, so we go clean.py, ignore my terrible typing, directory cleaned, and then make.py. And it will go somewhere about the path variable. It will check the default location to find it, and we'll go through this whole process. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this quite yet, just because this is uh, something that takes a really long time. We're going to cut through here um, until it's done. So we will be back when it is finished. So only took about 45 seconds. We have the output of test right here. This is our GBA. It's expanded from 16 megabytes to 32. Um, this one. In particular, Dynamic Pokemon expansion, expansion specifically expects uh, Complete Fire Red, so don't run it just yet. Hey everyone, editing Jolty here in the future. Um, I did a terrible job explaining how IPS patches work. <laughs> so in between Dynamic Pokemon expansion and Complete Fire Red upgrade or post Fire Red upgrade um, installment, if you wish to add other patches from these Lunar IPS files, um, things like the Pokemon summary screen, uh, making it more look like Generation 5. Um, I recommend using the Flips ROM Patcher, which I'll also leave in the description. It is a very simple uh, program. You just hit Apply Patch, and then you'll go to the mod you want to use, which in this case is going to be um, this one. And then it'll ask you what ROM you want to patch it on. Use Test, and then you have your new output file. And then the patch is applied successfully. We can do the same thing with the Pokemon summary screen. Uh, but this will be our new ROM. This is the one that has, this is test, but with that patch on it. And then we have our new version, Pokemon summary screen. And this will be our new test. Um, so if we go back here, we can actually just get rid of um, these two. And this will be the new BPR0 for the next set. So there you go. That's how you do it. Thanks, Editing Jolty. Bye! We're going to take this BPR0 with all the patches and everything we want. Um, if you didn't want to add any extra patches, we'll, this is where the next step is. We're going to take this, um, excuse me, as I fumble my way through this, back into Complete Fire Red Upgrade instead of Dynamic Pokemon Expansion. Now we have a new deep BPR0. And we are going to open a PowerShell window again. You can go up. Um, on your arrow key to get old commands, uh, make the directory clean, uh, make. And then this is going to assemble. And if you give it some moment, we shall see magic. All right, this one has been finished. We have our new test um, coming out, and this will be our, our ROM. So we're going to copy this to desktop for now. I'm going to go ahead and open up Hex Maniac Advanced, what I was talking about earlier, totally should get it. Um, let's go ahead and open file, go to my desktop, open test, and as we should be able to see, we now have the full collection. Um, we have, you know, any of the Pokemon up to generation 8, and at the very, very bottom we also have my little extra guy, uh, because I've been adding Pokemon to the game, which I'm about to do um, with my next tutorial. Um, but I feel like it would have been unfair to... <laughs> it would have been weird to do the Pokemon Edition before I taught anything about how to install the mod. But yeah, huge shout out to Skelly789 for making both the Dynamic Pokemon expansion and Complete Fire Red upgrade. And a big thanks to 1D on Discord for helping me out with this um, so much, both with the installation and adding Pokemon, which will also be a big thanks to him. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll see you next time with adding Pokemon. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it.